In this video, we're going to talk about how to create a work order for a customer. From the Navigator screen, we're going to select Make Customer Order. And we're going to select Work Order from the drop-down list. We're going to enter the items. And I'm going to say that this customer is going to have us refinish a couple of cabinet doors for her and also install some brass hinges. I would just increase or decrease the quantity of these items as needed. Let's say I think it's going to take two hours to perform that service. So down here in the bottom for a description of service to be performed section, I'm just going to enter a brief description of what we're going to do and any notes from the customer could be put here as well. So let's just say refinish two cabinet doors and install hinges. One of the required fields for all customer orders within point of sale is that you enter that customer information. So we're going to say our customer is Heather Campbell. Down here in the lower right hand corner, you can see that my balance shows as well as a breakdown for the subtotal and tax amount. I'm just going to click save only to save this work order. If I needed to pull that up for any reason, I would just select the point of sale menu and then select work order list. My work order that I just created for Heather Campbell is displayed. So if I needed to edit that for any reason, I could do so by adding additional items here. Or if I needed to delete Heather's work order, say she decides to cancel her work, I could just right click and then select the option to delete work orders and delete. 